Go away from my window Leave at your own chosen speed I met you, I met you, Grandma, at, um, uh, in Gladstone Road at the Golden Lion. It was a friend of mine and it was a wedding reception. Um, I sat next to her and at finish at night, I said, right, shall I take the home? Well, um, we're in high school and um, I didn't really know that in like, year seven at all. Mm. So, I just walked up road about uh, five, uh, 60 yards or so, and she was home. <laughs> she only lived in the post office then, you see, uh, on Edgerton Street. I think it was like, um, we went to, we had to do this like induction thing to North Wales, and I remember like seeing them there with these like proper two scum girls, <laughs> like either side of you, and um, I think, um, I remember thinking, oh, she's, she's nice. And then the night after, our first date, Took her to church. <laughs> but then we didn't even like talk to like like the end of year eight or something like that, so and I was just saying good night to her when a uh, uh, Saturday night like when a woman dad walked at front door, didn't we? Mm. Hello. Walked in, shut the door. <laughs> and then I had to walk all the way home. Which were about a couple of hundred yards. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you did a lot more than that. Um, I, was, I wasn't feeling that great one day and so David ran me a bath and I was just in the bath and I, I wasn't feeling very well. And then I was just washing myself with the soap and I was like, David, what's this crap in the soap? Gee, I don't know. It was, uh, there was no proposal as such. It was just something when we got married, there was no going down on the knee. And I just looked into <laughs> her eyes and said, darling. <laughs> What is this? And he was like, don't do that, don't take it out. I was like, and it was an engagement ring. So I was like screaming and crying and everything. It was much more romantic. <laughs> it was, no, it was well, romantic. I did, I did was. I ran a bath, yeah. And then I filled it up with like loads of bubbles, like loads. And then I put like loads of candles in there. And I purposely went out and got like this really nice like ruby red corn soap. And then I put the ring in it and I left it on the side. Yeah, well. <laughs> no, no. And you know, there's no... No romantic proposal. <laughs> no, no. Well, seeing it's nearly 50 years, it's, uh, it's yeah. something must have worked. 30th of March next year, and don't forget, look it down. And this is like what she said, she did, she did like try washing herself, and she was like, <laughs> like cutting herself, and I was like, um, she was like, oh, and she was crying, and it was happy, and we like, didn't eat like a whole box of chocolates on yeah. the side to celebrate. <laughs> 50 years, I deserve a medal. Is that when you get a, a card from Queen when you've been married no. 50 years? Really? Oh yeah, it's, I don't know. <laughs> Originally what I did want was like teal and, and like like brownie colours and stuff like that. But we ended up like going for something which is just, it, to be honest, it's really not us. <laughs> we ended up going for like hot pink and black and like whites and stuff like that and it was good. And like what, what we did, like put all our bridesmaids in black dresses. Which some people thought maybe thought a little bit weird, but it was I thought it worked really well. It was very good actually. Yes. And my mother did all the catering for it. And the night before, it was on Easter Monday, nineteen fifty nine. <coughs> and um it's been quite a time. We wanted a traditional kind of wedding ceremony, not with any like messing about in that, but then our reception is like we're just going to mess around. We had a chocolate fountain and a sweet buffet and then chocolates on the tables and stuff like that. And then we had for our first dance, we did um, a dance routine, me, David and Nikki, our chief bridesmaid and Daniel, our best man. We did um, Beyonce, Crazy in Love with like a full a dance, dance routine. routine. It took us like about three months to learn it, didn't it? Yeah, well, about six weeks of going around to Daniel's house every week and learning it. And oh, we so didn't tell any of our parents or anything. This is my wedding dress. Obviously the dress I got married in, it was made by a friend of my mum's and she made quite a few dresses for me because um, she was a very good dressmaker but a very scary one at the same time because she never used a pattern, she just put the material on the floor, you told her what you wanted and she just cut it and it always turned out it was scary to watch her but 
showing shit. It was always a success. It's just that we went up to like, start our dance and then we like, went straight into this dance routine. It was amazing. People loved it. And um, yeah, it was a good day. We really enjoyed it. But typical of when we go to dances nowadays, we got married at our reception and Charlie disappeared for most of the night and I didn't see him playing dominoes downstairs. <laughs> Everyone kind of became like kids at the wedding. At the yeah, reception. The reception because, was because it was like that whole sweet bar and it was like a chocolate fountain and people were just like getting like, carried away and giddy. And we gave them a playlist of like stupid music yeah. and like, you know, things like, that only us would find funny. Yeah, like <laughs> we did give them this like, this song at the time we were doing Obsessed, it's still really good, isn't it? It's like this Indian Bollywood song, and like we said, please, please play it, and they did. And it he was played it, and then he was like, I'm going to put some normal music on now. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was a really good day. Unfortunately, we, it was a nice March day, windy, sunny day. You, you to, probably won't remember. But you got a taxi right from. No, I didn't get a house. taxi, it was a wedding car. Oh, wedding well, car, sorry. From her house, duh. And it went just round the corner like that, and she were at the church. I never really understood why, like, like, you pay like eight hundred pound for a cake, yeah, which you just eat once. We were looking at some of the cupcake wedding cakes, and it's like seven pound per cupcake. It's like so if you clearly want hundreds, it doesn't cost that. Seven hundred and fifty pound. Don't forget wedding cake. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So we made ours. I think it cost us like twenty pound for all the ingredients, and then we bought the cakes down, which was forty pound. So. Yeah. It's made more sense. We did, we did, like, we did like get proper stuff, so we got like proper metallic like cases, like proper bun cases and stuff. Oh yeah, my auntie made the wedding cake and she'd made it, the icing so strong we couldn't get the knife through it. <laughs> it was yeah. And like the icing was like done properly with like an actual bag, a piping bag, so we, just we got like this rose about ourselves. It was fun as well. We just couldn't cut it. Couldn't cut it at all. It was a nice cake. But... Obviously we went to Guernsey for our um, honeymoon and so what we thought would be a good idea to um, like take our wedding outfits and like do a photo shoot on this beach there and like, we did it, it looks amazing didn't it, but your dress kind of got yeah. <laughs> ruined a little bit didn't it? We just had a weekend, uh, we have a caravan and we just had a weekend there. Because it's now in a bag. Yeah because we didn't have that much outside space outside the wedding venue to take pictures so just thought fold up the dress and take it in the suitcase, yeah. take the camera and a tripod and then we went to an island on a boat and Took some pictures with our wedding outfits on. Went in the same. Went in the same <laughs> wedding dress. <laughs> and that was at uh, North End, wasn't it? Yeah. And the only way caravan. we could get there then was to catch the. No, we grand. We got like you. Oh, yeah. not first time. We did. We went. We went sometimes on the boat, but that particular time because we went up to the lakes. Did we? Yeah. Yeah, we've still, got, we've still got the caravan. It was, was my mum and dad's. We took it over. And um, this we? year... We? Well, I took it over. Us. It was both of us. And next year, when we pay the rent next year, we'll have been going 50 years. We've been talking about kids since we were, like, 16. Straight away, more or less. Yeah. We've, got this, like, we've even got a name list uh -huh. for our pretend kids and everything. I lost one at seven months old in between Michael and Peter, which was like a girl. And I re uh, why <coughs> then I had, an, like I say, I had another boy. So I really wanted a little girl for pretty dresses. And... Um, and that, and I got my little girl, but I'm probably a bigger tomboy than two lads put together. And my mum even, my mom, I've got a little sister, so my mum's kept the cot for us and everything. We're not going to have a kid like just yet, but probably in like three years. Letting her have all her own way. Rubbish. <laughs> and trust and spending time together. <laughs> just say yes, love. No love. We got married to stay together because we got engaged, and then we were like. We won't get engaged, we won't get married for like 10 years and then we're like, what, well why not, you know, if we're going to get married we might as well do it now because we're planning to be together in 10 years anyway, so. I think I've changed one or two things, like, you know, but. <laughs> you say you're looking for someone who's never weak but always strong to protect you and defend you. 
Whether you are right or wrong, 